as per usual made a jerk turkey that's mm, bon appetit. oh it was so good um so today's video get back to the swing of things today's video is another haul um bella i believe that's her name bella from rosegal.com reached out to me and wanted to send me a few pieces so that i can try and review and haul for you guys um if you don't know about rose gal rose gal is a uh, asian uh, fashion site popular here on youtube I know fella, a few of my, some of my favorite YouTubers, plus size YouTubers have hauled and reviewed clothes from Rose Gal. So I was quite surprised and happy that they reached out to me. However, because of, I've seen a few videos, I did myself go check out Rose Gal and their sizing, because they're not an actual plus size company, but they're an Asian company and extend to plus sizing, their plus sizes just show inconsistencies and did show that it could fit my body type. Um, like I think the larger size... Like their sizes expand like the 5X, but it's not, it doesn't like 5X. It's like 5XL and then it's like 6XL, 7XL, 8XL. I think they go up to a 9XL and I think a 9XL could fit a US 24, 26. So I, I, I expressed my concerns to Bella and told her that um, over the last year or so I have been looking into Rose Gal and I didn't see anything that would fit me, but I would try my best and try to find something that could fit me well enough that I can, you know, Working into my wardrobe, if, for instance, if a dress didn't fit me as a dress, I could probably wear it as a long tunic, etc., etc., etc. So, I picked out uh, four pieces to try. I, I got three, piece, I got four pieces and a pair of shoes and then a little accessory that I just wanted because I need it. Um, so, I'm just going to jump right in. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to get right into the video. Okay, guys, get right into the video. First piece. First piece here is a, let me put this on the hanger. First piece here is a piece that I was kind of, I was excited about. I wanted to just to see, I, I got the most simplest thing, and that is this long duster cardigan. It has this beautiful marble gray, um, almost sweater, not sweater, quite sweatshirt material. It comes to me about mid-calf length. I love the color. I love the detail on it. However, it did not fit. If you, as you can see in the video here of me trying it on, I tried everything on. Uh, I tried everything on before sitting down and filming this, guys, because I just wanted to get you guys my honest reviews on camera of me already trying things on versus hauling it, unboxing it, hauling it, and then trying it on. I want to tell you guys how I felt about it off the bat. So. I like this. However, it did not fit. It is way too tight. Like, I could barely even get my arms through to actually put the actual duster on. The lining here, this lining is very stiff. It has no stretch. I feel like without the lining, the cardigan, the material cardigan itself can stretch itself. I don't know why they would put this stretching material. You see how stretchy that is? It's very stretchy. I don't, I don't know, understand why they would put this stretching material with this type of, um, this stiff lining because it, it just restricts the fabric from moving and sitting on your body and it kind of just cuts out on the measurements. Like, it, I could barely get my arm through. So, if I decide to keep this instead of returning it, I possibly may just remove the lining and it just be a lightweight cover up to wear in the early fall and then going into the, uh, late winter and spring next year. Because I doubt if I'd be able to get anywhere out of this this year because it, this material is so light. It feels good. It feels nice. It's just really, really light. With the line, it did give it a little bit extra weight, which is why if someone who's smaller than me, this would probably be ideal for right now while it's still in the 50, 40 degrees with a, light, with a lightweight sweater. However, the lining, I am, able, I am unable to do anything with this. What size did I get this in? Uh... 7XL. 
and uh, I will show clips of the measurements online to see what it says. But yeah, this is just this is a no. I don't. It doesn't have a tag to tell you what the material is, but this is like more of a, a faux satin polyester blend in the lining. And this is probably like a light medium weight jersey knit material. I do like the outer material, just the lining. The lining gave me a problem and I'm pretty sure it's because of the lining that I wasn't able to get this on. Moving on to a piece that I do like and I'm very excited about. I was so happy when this when I when I tried this on and it fits so good is this cold shoulder cold shoulder cold shoulder short sleeve uh transpees or shift shift dress this is just a basic like almost t-shirt type sh um dress with the crew neckline it just has the cold shoulders I got this because I one I love the color and two because I thought it would be a great layering piece if it was indeed too short for me I could always wear this over a pair of leggings or a pair of shorts with some tights. Um, I like when dressing up like that. Um, this is in a 9XL. So it fits perfectly. I feel like I could wear a desk, So I know I could possibly wear more 9XLs. However, the 9XLs, after you get past, I think, a 5XL. Either 5 or 6XL, the options dwindle significantly. Significantly. Like the options of, for clothing with... 3 and 4 and 5 XL, you have pages and pages. When you get to 7, 8, and 9, it's like there. One page. Barely one page, half a page. So I'm a bit upset by that. I feel like, you know, they should give me a little bit more options. If you're going to have it, have it. Don't just have it and only have 2 or 3. It's, you know, fashionable, cute stuff on top of that. So I do like this. I do like the color. It has pockets, which is fun and a plus. I thought on the site that it came with a belt because the model was wearing it with a belt, but it didn't come with a belt. But that's okay. I have a belt that I could throw over this. This is going to be cute. This is going to be cute all year round. I can see me wearing it so many different ways in the fall with the belt and some brown booties and probably a hat. I can see me wearing this in, like I said, right now in the spring. Um, I possibly probably won't wear it in the summer, especially when it started getting like 89 degrees because of the material. It's a little heavy. It's, it, it'll give me, it'll be a little hot as, what is this made of? Oh, size 30. That's why I feel so good. Uh, this is 100% polyester. Yes, I would not wear this in the summertime. This will be a burning hot mess. But for right now, in the spring and in the late fall, in early fall, this will be perfect. Like I said, I could even see me wearing this under over some sweater tights that I'm getting so excited. Um, some sweater tights and a uh, chunky cardigan or something. This would be real, this would be real cute. I'm really excited about this. This, I'm happy. this is my favorite piece. Next piece is another piece that I like. I don't love it as much as this dress, but I do like it. And it is this um, off the shoulder, if you can stay on the hanger. Let me take off the hanger. This off-the-shoulder sweatshirt, printed sweatshirt, it has the word love on it. I don't like the way that the this word is put on it. It kind of buckles around my breast area, but that could just be me, a me thing because I am so heavy-chested. But it's um off-the-shoulder, so you got a little shoulder detail. Really like that. Long sleeve. I like where the sleeves hit. The ashy are long. I don't like tops. They have long sleeves, and the sleeves don't go past my wrist. It bothers me. It irks me. Or they rise up as I wear it throughout the day. I hate that. I have a whole attitude. I would dislike an entire garment just because the sleeves aren't long enough. But I like this. I like the way it hits. It is a little tight and snug where it goes around my waist and my hips. So I will only possibly wear this tucked inside of a skirt or have it cropped up with a pair of high-waisted jeans or bottoms. I do like this. This is fun. It's a nice, cute going on I'm going out running errands or I'm having like a nice casual lunch or whatever this is this is real nice I like this piece nothing too fancy nothing extra this is a 5XL so that just shows you how so you can see with the clip that I'm showing you how a 5XL sits on me and tops I can get away with it last piece is a piece that if you ever visit the Rose Girls Rose Gal sites 
or you ever seen an ad or a band rose guy site this is a site this is the piece that's been shown a lot well at least in my case and it is this plaid checkered um long sleeve dress tunic dress this is so freaking cute i look so excited this just got here all my other pieces came like last week if not the week before before thanksgiving definitely this one just came yesterday it took freaking forever I have been waiting and I was so excited. I really wanted to love this piece. But unfortunately when I put it on, it was a no. The arms are way too tight. And I'm not talking about snug. I'm talking about too tight. To, like It's just like, it's too, it's too tight. If I was to wear this, I would have to remove the arms. I can't remember how much everything costs because I don't have a... Hmm. Yeah, I don't have a, um, what is it called? A shipping seat. I don't, I don't have that. I don't know. So I'm just going to list everything on the screen when I go online and look at my uh, account. But if I was to keep this, I would have to remove the arms, which takes the functionality away from them. Because this is a actually very good uh, material for right now. Again, you can wear this over some tights, over some leggings, or over a cardigan or a jacket over it. This is real good. This is in a 5XL, which is possibly why the sleeves don't fit me. But this, this this style this pattern did not extend over 5xl which is why i got it which is why i'm upset come on rose gal if you're gonna reach out to me knowing what size i wear knowing that i'm a true us 26 28 20 30 then you need to have that stuff on your site like this this is that was my concern when that was my concern that i expressed to bella about the reason why i was surprised they reached out to me because i'm not on the smaller end on the plus size i'm on the bigger end of plus size so which is why i upset that Stuff like this don't extend past 5XL. Um, I like where it hit me on the length. It's a little short, so I definitely be wearing it with some shorts and tights or leggings. I won't be wearing it on its own, whereas the blue dress I can wear on its own without fear of causing an uprise on the street. Um, the only thing, the other thing about this besides the fit is the pattern is not lined up in the back. And because I'm so big, I'm a big target, I notice it so much. That lining is, I mean, that pattern the design and the pattern is extremely off-center and it bugs the mess out of me. That's just the quality you're going to get. Other than that, <sighs> the stitching seems really well. It seems really good put together. I don't know how it's going to hold up in a wash. But besides the fact that the sleeves are just so tight, it's not even okay. And that back seam is just way off. It, it would have been a cute fun garment to wear for the late fall. It's just... If I was to keep, I would have to remove the sleeves. And I feel like when I'm buying clothes from an actual store, not the thrift store, an actual store, I shouldn't have to take it and tweak it and work it. I shouldn't have to remove the line or remove sleeves so it fit comfortable on me. I feel like even though I know I, I didn't pay for this, but even though, even though I didn't pay for this, I still feel like I'm wasting my money if I got to alter it after I spent $20, dollars $40 on it. I don't even, I don't, I think this is probably like $20 maybe, but that's not the point. The point is, I shouldn't have to tweak it and work it if I got it from an actual store, actual manufacturer. If it's something that came from a thrift store, then yes, I expect it to have imperfections and not be perfect. That's when everything coming out the thrift store is not perfect and have imperfections, but you guys get what I'm saying. I have a problem that I, I, I'm over here trying to see if I'm going to return this or remove the sleeves. Ugh. Okay, next thing is I got something else to try on as far as plus sizing fits. And I wanted to try some of their shoes to see how their shoes fit wide feet. As you know, I have wide feet and wide calves. And I even in, I normally wear a size 9, 9 and a half, But because women's size in the U.S. comes so narrow, I end up getting a 10, sometimes an 11. I rarely get an 11, but most of the times I get a 10. Unless I shop at like, um, simply be tour eloquent where I could actually get a size nine nine and a half so I wanted to try a pair of their shoes and I needed some cute little booties for going out and dressing up and everything and I've already featured these I already featured these boots in my vintage style book how to style vintage and these are these cute little black le faux leather heel booties I love the gold hardware on it so freaking cute 
and the gold on the heel. So cute. I love like the snake skin. Almost not skate. Liz alligator pattern here. The contrast of the different leather. Real cute. I even like the fact that you have two zippers. And this zipper is a pocket. What? This is for my girls who's not going to carry no her card, no wallet, or no purse. So she can put her card, her one key, and some cash in here. Real cute. That's cute. Remind me of running shoes. They have that. This is cute. These are cute. Um, I got these in the size 41. It's a Euro 41. So basically just a US 10. These are too snug. Especially on my right foot. It is way too snug. Other than that, these would be so cute. These would be so comfortable. But because they're snug, it's just like that pressure is just like hitting on my toes. And around um, the ball. Not the ball. The upside arch of my foot. I'm going to see if I can exchange these for a size 11. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Because I really do like these. Like I said, I've already worn them and featured them in the lookbook. So, because they were just so freaking cute. And they went with my look so well. Um, so, that's something else you could look forward to in Royal Gal. And Rose Gal is some shoes. You just probably have to size up more than you usually have to size up. Because they do run definitely a bit narrow on the small feet. The last thing I got is this beanie. It's just a black cable stitch beanie. I needed one because I wanted one. I had every other, almost every other color but black, so I got one. It was like five, six dollars, no rhyme or reason. I just needed one, so I got one. Okay, guys, I went over my time. <laughs> okay, guys, that is my Rose Gal haul. That is my honest, hundred percent honest review of Rose Gal. I had some hits. I had some duds. Uh, but overall, I will give it, mm, I will give Rose Gal, if I was on the grading stuff, if I was on them sites that did a grading stuff, I will give Rose Gal a B minus. C plus B minus. Because they do have, they do have a large selection of plus size clothing. However, once you get past a certain size, which is probably a 5X, 6X. 5XL and 6XL those size dwindle significantly and it becomes very difficult to find anything that's worth trying that's stylish that fits my personal style anything that I can they have some stuff but it's like ugh, what's that it didn't make any sense um so that's why I would give them a B minus C plus um I hope with this video and maybe me reaching out to a few other plus sizes who are on the heavier size because a lot of the YouTubers that I have watched a, a Rose Gal haul from have been a size 16, 18, 20, possibly a 22. None of them has been a, past a size 26. No, the none that I've watched. Now, there could be a, some plus size on YouTubers out there that's a size 26, size 28, whatever, that's tried Rose Gal, but I haven't seen any of them. And I'm speaking about, uh, from my thrifty closet, uh, Don, um, what is her name? I will leave them on. Those are a few that I watched at the Rose Gal Hall. They was all, like, like I said, 16, 18, 20, possibly 22, possibly 24, but none of them has been past the size 26. So hopefully with me coming on here and a few others, if they all out there, Rose Gal can extend and expand their selection and pass the 26 to 28 and the 30. I really would appreciate that because they are such an affordable site. Shipping is, it, it takes a minute. My first package got here within two weeks. The, the last package, this white, off-white checkered dress took about three weeks. So if you have a special event and you're trying to get something from Rose Gal, you need to order it a month or month or two ahead. Don't try to get it the week before, two weeks before, because it won't get there. You'll be sitting around stressing out because you won't have nothing to wear. Uh, I would hope that they extend that size because it's another way, it's another place where I can shop and try on new things. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. I have guests, and I've been in my room far too long. And they're probably like, okay, Nadia, stop talking to yourself to a camera. Stop talking to a camera and come downstairs and join us. So I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, if you want to see anything specifically styled, if I decided to keep it or not. Um, leave all your love and comments below. Check me out on all of my social media at Inc. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a beautiful and lovely day. And um, just remember, always remember, to love yourself fully. Until next time.